local students in this video we have a four additional exercise problem of chapter 6 the question is figure 6.14 shows a metal rod pq resting on the smooth rails ap and positioned between poles of permanent magnet the rails the rod and the magnetic field are in three mutually perpendicular directions a galvanometer g connects the rails through a switch key length of the rod uh, is 15 cm magnetic field strength is 0.5 tesla resistance of closed loop uh, including rod is 9 milli ohm assume the field is uniform so uh, here is the situation given uh, let me try to put it in a different way may be more understandable so if i consider the rod to be like this there is a parallel track in such a way that the rod this this rod can slide over it okay so this is a rail track or sorry blue one is fixed and the colored rod uh, is movable you can move it and in order to form closed loop uh, here we have galvanometer connected okay to control the gal and this whole assembly is placed between two magnetic poles uh, let us assume above we have north pole and below we have south pole so the field lines are going like this perpendicular to the closed loop form okay this is the nature of the magnetic field so if i want to describe uh, everything in vector form i would say that uh, b is uh, minus b j cap uh, because it is downward rod is moved in positive x direction so we may take v to be v i cap okay and uh, if we label this end is q and this one is p uh, we can say that p q is minus p q k cap okay we consider the direction to be like this so this is how we can describe in vector form and uh, what will happen as we move now see uh, as we move the rod this region is forming closed loop if key is closed keep that in mind that if key is closed here you have closed loop here we have closed loop and then flux is changing because as you move the rod you are changing flux so there should be induced emf what if you are not having uh, this key closed in that case the electrons of the rod will experience force f is equal to q v cross b okay so that is q v i cap cross minus b j cap uh, you can use right hand thumb rule also to find out direction of the force i cross j is k and with uh, negative sign the f is q v b k cap with negative sign it means that positive charge positive charge will be accumulated at p end this p end will become sorry p end will become positively charged and q end will become negatively charged or in the other words you may say that the rod p q will behave as if it is having battery with positive terminal here on p side negative terminal on q side so that is one thing we we can realize from the situation one conclusion that uh, p is positive and q 
is negative end for the door. Secondly, uh, if we have to calculate EMF, very simple BVL, we can take say B value, B value, and L value all are given. So we should be able to find out BVL. Current, if we are asked to calculate, we should be able to find out current also using this formula epsilon by R. So these are the quantities within our reach. We can find out anytime if data is available, and I think data is available. Uh, let us see uh, what we are asked to find out. So first question is, suppose if K is open. Now when K is open, you don't have any current flowing through this wire. Okay, so you just have EMF developed along PQ, but there is no current. So suppose K is open and the rod is moved with speed 12 cm per second in the direction shown. Give the polarity and magnitude of induced EMF. So here is the answer. When key is open, uh, charges do experience force. This much force charges experience. And then P becomes positive, Q becomes negative. Okay. Uh, second question. Is there an excess of charge built up at the ends of the rod when K is open? Yes. Charges are accumulated at P end and Q end. So there is uh, excess of charge at P and Q end. Uh, what if K is closed? If K is closed, then obviously uh, there will not be any gathering of charges as shown here. Charges will flow flow uh, via this path and uh, then you don't have any extra charges at P or Q and uh, you will have current setup and charges are uniformly distributed. With uh, K open and the rod moving uniformly, there is no net force on the electrons in the rod PQ even though they do experience magnetic force due to the motion of the rod. So now the question is that uh, if you don't have if you don't have uh, key closed, then there is no current. If there is no current, what is happening? Uh, does it mean there is no force? You have this force, right? Uh, what this force is doing? That force is balancing force produced by the uh, electric uh, polarity or the force produced by these charges. Because uh, once you have Once you have polarity developed, there is electric field. Okay, so if there are charges inside, those charges will experience definitely this electric force, and apart from that, magnetic force is also there. So magnetic and electric force will balance each other. Magnetic force will try to push the charges towards P. Already sitting positive charges will repel. So ultimately, there will be balance, and then there is no flow of charge. What is the retarding force on the rod when K is closed? So we have one more force in the picture. That force can be given by force on the rod can be given by I L B. We have current. We can calculate current if we don't have using this formula. And uh, then you can find out force on the rod with this formula I L B. How much power is required by external agent to keep the rod moving at the same speed when K is closed? How much power is required when K is open? Now see, F is equal to ILB is the force required. So to calculate power, we can use the formula F of rod into velocity of rod. So this much power is required to keep rod moving when key is closed because only when key is closed at that time you have I passing through the rod and then there is force ILB. Suppose if key K is open there is no current if there is no current there is no force if there is no force you are not spending any power. Okay, So uh, you can find out uh, with F into V next one. How much power is dissipated as heat in closed circuit? Uh, what is the source of this power? So to calculate the dissipated power, power 
dissipated you can use formula i square r okay resistance is given so you can calculate and uh, this power comes from the mechanical force which we are providing to move the rod so actually mechanical energy is converted into uh, heat energy what is the induced emf in moving the rod if magnetic field is parallel to the rail now if magnetic field is parallel to the rail uh, so the condition would be like this this is a rail okay and uh, here is our rod now if you apply magnetic field like this there is no flux linked there are there are no field lines passing through this uh, closed loop okay and then there is no flux link there is no uh, induction so zero emf will be induced if field is applied parallel to the loop uh, that is all about this problem thank you